Emily from the blog FearlessDIY.com and today I'm going to show you how I fulfilled one of my Christmas decorating dreams from years ago. So there was this picture in Pottery Barn of this ornament garland that went around this door. I mean, it's, it was forever ago, but it was really expensive and it was outside of my budget. But I've always had that picture in my mind of something I wanted to achieve. So I've kind of been like building the pieces. So I got the greenery that's the base of it from an estate sale a couple years ago. Um, and it was like $5 for a, a leaf bag full of this lit garland. So that probably cost me, you know, $5 to go all the way around my door. Um, and so I was waiting for after Christmas sales. So that's how I made that happen this year. So I'm going to start with um, an ornament garland that's already made as my base. Um, now this particular uh, ornament garland was six foot long and originally I think it cost $30 um, at Michael's. So I waited until everything was like 70% off. And so I think this garland, what did it cost me? $9, I think, which is a steal and it's perfect to build up what I want it to be. Now this is beautiful by itself, um, but I really wanted like a really full, really rich look. And by the time I get done, the ornament part is going to be bigger than the greenery part. Probably I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I'm going to show you how I put this kind of thing together um, because I make I make wreaths this way sometimes using shatterproof ornaments, a hot glue gun. Um, and if you're smarter than me, get the hot glue that's in a rope. Don't use the sticks for this kind of thing because you're using so much and the rope just works way better. But they only sell that, you know, at a store that's not near me and I'm going to do this today. So here we go. Okay. So first with this garland, we know that it's going to have a back side and a front side. So first what I'm doing is getting all the ornaments up on one side. And I'm kind of positioning everything down this way. That's going to be the, t that way's the top. The ornaments are all kind of flowing the same way. could totally just do, you know, just this. There's, I mean, there's plenty of ornaments on here. I think there's 30 some odd on here already. There's plenty. If that's all you wanted to do, that's fine. But I wanted it to be really full, really luxury looking, and I wanted it to have red. So the total cost of this by the time I um, bought this and then I bought the uh, ornaments to go on it, these cost me $18 in materials. And I did, I needed three of them because um, I have a really big three, and they're, they're six foot lengths. Because uh, I needed them to go all the way around my double arched front door. You wouldn't need as much if you've got a smaller door. Okay. Start down here. Okay. So first what I'm doing is get your glue gun real warm. Um, I know that I'm going to try to fill in, right? So wherever the ornaments are kind of already touching, I usually start here at the end and I kind of start gluing them together uh, for support. Ah, where'd my glue stick go? There we go. So all I do is just glue in between because I'm trying to build, you know, a little bit of a base and let that cool for just a second. Because what I'm gonna wanna do is start building a bridge. 
I do a little bit here, I do a little bit here, and then I hold for a second, just like any other hot glue. I mean, this is really so simple. Okay, then, let's do these. This one here. Now this is why those um, hot glue ropes work so well, because you're doing so much glue at one time and it just, it just continually feeds it. I do always try to keep building up this way if possible because the when I attach it to the greenery you know I'm gonna run the greenery through this part so I want to be able to get to this a little bit so I do try to bring the ornaments up you know if at all possible yeah, I'm gonna speed this next part up